It's not weird, it's thoughtful. Hey, guys. Oh, thank God. Where the hell have you been? Well, I ran a couple extra miles. Oh, you had us scared half to death. Jim, you're out there with no cell phone, no idea. For all I know, you could have been lying in a ditch somewhere. Ditch? Come on, I was on Oak Street. I saw Dana at the coffee shop. Well, oh. Was that you? <laughs> Baby's useless before she gets her coffee. <laughs> what is going on here? All of a sudden, you're, you're so worried all the time. I am not. Yes, you are. I... Come on, were you or were you not checking out my skin last night for unusual moles? I'm supposed to do that. Not during sex. Jim, I can do two things at once. You watch the game, I check for moles. Uh... You know, you're being ridiculous here. Jim, you have got to carry ID. From now on, you're taking your wallet with you when you drive. No dog. way! Yes. There's only room for one bulge in these shorts. Oh. <laughs> and you know what? I'm telling you, your obsession with safety has got to end, Cheryl. The got world to end. is a dangerous place. No, Cheryl, your head's a dangerous place. <laughs> You're not 25 anymore. You oh. turned 50 last year. Oh, God, she's right, Jim. You're in the death zone. <laughs> Tell me this. What if something does happen to you when you're out running? Like what? Uh, like a, a stroke or, or a heart attack? Hit by a car? Killer bees? Terrorists? Oh. I like to picture you getting headbutted by a buffalo. <laughs> Do you hear yourselves? A buffalo? It happens, Jim. They escape from these petting zoos and just run wild. I've heard that. The kids run out of those little pellets, then all hell breaks yeah. loose. Why are you two fanning the flame of this crazy woman's bonfire? That reminds me. We've got to check the smoke alarms. And this family needs an evacuation plan. It certainly does. Eat my dust. <laughs>